Well, hello there, friends. I'm bringing you back to the 70s again. You know, I love cooking in the 70s because we did so many classics that were fantastic. And this one, Chicken a la King. That used to be one of my best selling items in the restaurant for lunch. It was fantastic. People loved it. We used to put it in a puff pastry, puff pastry and put the chicken a la king on the inside. I did that exact way we served it for lunch. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, it's very easy to make. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned, friends. Chicken a la king. Okay, friends, well, it's an old classic, but we're going to step it up a bit and we're going to make it in a vol au vent. A vol au vent is basically a shell made out of puff pastry. You get your puff pastry at the store. We're going to, I'm going to show you how to make it. It's very simple. I take a cookie cutter with teeth because I got it. You don't have one with teeth. There's no, <laughs> don't use it, obviously, because you don't have one. But it's pretty simple. Look, we take it, make sure the dough is super cold, okay, friends? Don't leave the door at room temperature for like an hour or so and try to do this because you're not going to be able to do it, right? So you take a, you cut a circle and, uh, and then you cut another circle. You cut two circles, the same size, right? And you make sure it's really, really nicely cut, right? And then you take your piece because then you just cut and you put it in the bottom of your cookie sheet. I lined it with a seal pad. If you don't have a seal pad, put a piece of parchment paper. The other uh, circle, you're going to take and you're going to put a, a cut in the middle with a, a probably a, a three quarter of an inch space, and you cut it again very tight. All right? And now you're going to take your, your, your two circles. Now remember, if your dough is soft, you're going to have a tough time doing this. Okay? Then you're gonna take a little water and you're gonna put on the edge of the first, first one. Right there, just a little bit of water, right? And then you're gonna take your edge and you're gonna match the teeth of your uh, uh, mold if you have one with teeth. And you see, it's not difficult, but it's a little tricky. As, as you can see, if my dough is a little soft, and I'm having a little difficulty. You know, I always have a difficulty. So then when you have difficulty, you understand the whole principle. It's not that complicated, all right? Try to match the teeth as much as you can. So it looks good when it rises, it rises at the same time. Well, then we're gonna take this guy right there and we're gonna put it right here by himself. All right? Then we're gonna take a fork and we're gonna poke holes in the middle because we don't want that middle to rise too much, okay? And this one right here will be the top, we don't worry about it. Then we take an egg wash. And an egg wash is mostly egg yolks with a little bit of cream, okay? Just a, a, a little bit of cream to make it liquid, that's all. That's, that's all, right? And then you put it on the side also, make sure the side gets the egg wash. Right on the side. That's why you put it on a parchment paper or a seal pad like I have right here. And then you take it, you put it in the middle. Actually, the, the middle doesn't really matter because what you're going to use for the top is going to be this guy right there. So the middle doesn't really matter. And what happened, friends, we're going to now put I'm going to make three more. I'm going to pop them in the oven. And if you want to do this in advance because you have a dinner party, you can. Bake them in advance, take them out, leave them the room temperature. They'll be perfect and good to use for a couple of days. All right, I'm going to do three more of those, and then we'll come back. We'll make the filling together. Okay, friends, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, friends, they are in the oven. Uh, my oven is at 400, which is really the temperature you should cook the puff pastry. And... Uh, I'll let you know at the end how long exactly they took to cook. We're gonna find out exactly because uh, uh, Jack's got the time clock going. Click, 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 click. So <laughs> I got uh, uh, four ounces of butter and I got a, um, um, did I tell you four ounces? It's two ounces. <laughs> I got a little clarified butter in here. 
I thought I heard myself say four ounces. It's two ounces. And I got a whole shallots. We're going to sweat the shallots. Then we're going to put a, a, some flour. And then we're going to put a chicken stock. All right. And I got it right there. Chicken stock. And right here, I'm going to saute some chicken. I got chicken cut in very small pieces, friends. Bite size, because they're going to go in those shells. You don't have to serve those shells, you know. You can serve this delicious dish with rice, with noodles, with palanta, with mama mia. You can serve with anything. So I got um, uh, two ounces of flour in here, and we're going to make ourselves a little roux. Shallots are not like onion. They cook really, really quick. We're sweating them. We put a little flour in there, and we're going to get ourselves a little roux. All right, we're going to cook this for a second. And then we're going to put chicken stock on it. You see? Pretty simple stuff. This is really one, two, three cooking. Eh? Very simple. It's an old classic that we used to make in the 70s, friends, a lot. Uh, in the 70s, this was a very, uh, there's not a restaurant you used to go to. You didn't get chicken at a king. Everybody made it a different way. And um, we're going to put some uh, a stock on top of our roux. And then we're going to put the chicken in the pan. And the stock, I'll tell you exactly how much we're putting in. We want to make it nice and smooth. And the chicken is going in. Right there, friends. Chicken, very small pieces. I got about a, I got about a pound and a quarter. A pound and a half, a pound and a quarter of chicken. Eh? We're going to saute it. Oh, I lost a piece of chicken. Get back in there, you. <laughs> and let's get this smooth. You see, it's not very smooth, right? That's okay. I got it under control. What we're going to do in a minute, we're going to add a bunch of uh, ingredients in there, but I want to wait for the, uh, for the chicken to get me some nice caramelization before I add more. This is a very simple sauce to make, as you can see, eh? A child could do this. <laughs> Some friends of mine laugh all the time. They go, no, our kids, they can't do that. Well, it's because you don't put them in the kitchen. Put them in the kitchen. They'll do it. You'll be amazed. I was cooking when I was a child. No, really, I was. Not so good, but <laughs> my mom would put me in the kitchen. You do it. You do it. You do it. I like cleaning the bowls better, especially when she was making chocolate mousse. <laughs> so look. We're going to saute the chicken until it's kind of pretty. Let's go back to our sauce. I want to make it nice and smooth. That's why I'm using a whisk. And in a minute, to the chicken, I'm losing two more pieces of chicken. I'm telling you. What's wrong with me today? I have no idea. I promise you, I didn't drink anything. But you see, I got it. Stay in the pan, will you? See, they're very small pieces, eh? In a minute, I'm going to add the mushrooms. Little mushrooms. I cut them in very small pieces. Everything is small. And we're going to put some bell peppers. Everything's small. Let's see how this sauce is doing. That sauce is, is going. You can see the shallot pieces are in there. We're looking good, friends. You see? This is the real cooking channel. <laughs> Not like so many cooking channels. They go, oh, we're doing this, doing this, and then you turn around and boom, it's done. No, no, here we're doing it. By the way, for those of you that are worried about my nonstick fry pan, friends, the brand I use, I think, is it's called Wall. W-O-L-L. -L. I've been using them for 15 years. This pan is probably 10 years old. You can use metal in it. I mean, I'm not saying go ahead and cut things with it, but I've been using it 15 years. There's not a single scratch in this white pen, and I promise you it's 15 years old. So for those of you that are concerned about my white pen, God bless you. Don't worry. I got to figure it out. I only been doing this for 54 years. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? I impress my son sometimes. I like when people go, oh, I've been doing this for 10 years. So well, good for you. In, in another 40, you'll get there. <laughs> Let me tell you, friends, when it comes to cooking, I don't care how long you've been doing it. And most professional chefs are going to agree with me. You never stop learning. 
The day you stop learning, it stop having fun. That's, that's really what it is. It's not complicated. How are we done with the puff pastry? What do you think? They're going. They're going. They, they're going. They better be going because I'm already ready. Okay, look, this is looking good. All right, we're going to put a little paprika. You know, I'm going to put a paprika here. Just a little uh, paprika, smoked paprika, very little. I don't want it to be too much, just very, very little. You see? So far, so good, right, friends? Everybody can do this. The sauce is looking pretty good. I am going to put some peas, but I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of um, cream. I started with a cup, and I'm probably just going to put a half a cup. That's it. All right, we're going to let that stink in a little bit. Chicken is looking good. We're going to put some bell pepper cut in very small pieces. You can see that, very small pieces. Small dice red. This is probably a half a bell pepper, friends. Because I, I cut the whole one, but probably going to be too much. I don't need that much. Let's bring this to boil. You see? We're going to bring this to boil. It's, we're almost done. It's not complicated. We're going to put a little bit of, uh, of hot sauce. You don't have to put hot sauce if you don't want to. Put just a little bit. Just to give you a little zing. And then we're going to put some sherry. Again, you don't have to put sherry if you don't want sherry. Harvey's Bristol Cream is a fantastic sherry to use for this. We're going to cook this for another second. Bring it to a nice boil. And then we're done with the chicken, friends. And at the last minute, at the last minute, we're going to put the peas. I probably have a little too much chicken. Let's find out. You see, look, a child could do this. A child could do this, my friends. I probably have a pound and a half of chicken. I'm probably only going to use one pound. So when I write the recipe, I'm going to write the recipe with only one pound of chicken, which would be more than enough for four serving. You see? So the rest of it, we'll have it for lunch. And then we're going to put the peas. And right there, my friends, we're going to bring this to boil. And right there, my friend, we have chicken and a king. How simple was that to make? If a child cannot do this, send him over. <laughs> I'll fix them. You see, look, look, it's going to be beautiful, friends. We're going to test it. We're going to let it cook, bring it to boil. While we wait for the puff pastry to finish, I'll be back in a second, friends. This is it right there. We're going to let that cook. Bring it to boil, and the dish is finished. How simple was that? Okay, like I say, you don't want to make the pastry? Serve it with rice. Serve it with noodle. Serve it with mashed potatoes. It would be fantastic with mashed potatoes. All right, friends? We'll see you in a minute when the pastry is ready. Okay, friends. <laughs> the sauce is beautiful. You know, we're going to add a little bit of butter, okay? Oh. Don't, don't be shy now, you know? Butter is what makes us happy. Um, a lot of people say, you know, why do you have the butter here? Sometimes you don't use it in a video. I know. Sometimes I don't use it. If, friends, mental support. Yeah. When you look at butter, you can't help yourself but feeling good. Right? You look at the, it's right there. It's mental support. What do you want to do? I love it. It gives me... <laughs> some people are going to think I'm nuts. I'm telling you, Jack. I think they're going to think I'm nuts. They're new subscriber. Go, welcome. You know how many new subscribers we got? We got like um, yesterday, 2,500 new subscribers. For now, every day, 2,000, 1,500 new subscribers. God bless you all. All right, friends. Now, look, those, ooh, they didn't go up as much as I wanted, but they're going to be fine anyway. All we're going to do now, we're going to take something flat. Remember the bottom of it? The, the bottom of it, we don't want it. So, look, pop a hole in it. See, just like this. Boom. And you're done. See, look. Poof. Remember, this is just a, a vessel to serve it. It looks kind of cool. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put it in here. You can serve one or two per person, or three or four. And uh, 
and you're gonna put it right in there, and it's perfectly okay if it spills over, because of course it's gonna spill over. I mean, you can keep it nice if you want, but if it spills over, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it at all. You see, look. You see, friends? Nothing wrong at all if it spills over just a little bit, right? You can take a little bit of uh, fresh parsley because it's at the end of the day, it's old fashioned. And then you take one of your top and the top kind of went up a little bit, right? You know, whoosh, up, you can flatten it. See, flatten it and boom, you put a hat on it. And voila, friends. Very simple, little volovant pastry. Now, I haven't taken a picture of it, so I'm going to test it here. <laughs> but trust me, the perfect pastry is good, so I got to take a picture of it for a thumbnail. But I'm going to eat this because uh, I know it's fantastic, and I'm going to test it anyway. Mmm. 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 It reminds me of the 70s. We had a great time in the 70s, friends. I got stories for you one, one day, let me tell you, 70s were wild. We had a fantastic time. Friends, I love bringing you back the old classic. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks for watching, friends. Thanks for watching. Wow. That really did bring me back to the 70s, Jack. I'm telling you. It's like you're testing this and you test the, the 70s. Um, and it tastes exactly like this. This is phenomenal. That's why we serve at the restaurant for years. I hope they like it. I hope they like it. All right. We're going to take a picture. All right.